Hello, my name is Nancy Jarantino. I am the author of a newly developed program called R Made Simple. As you know, R is one of the most difficult sounds to correct. The R Made Simple is a methodology for the remediation of R with application to literacy and language. The program is designed to help students beginning therapy as well as students with distortions persisting after expected development. As an SLP in the public school setting, I saw students remaining in therapy for many years, unable to produce the R sound to proficiency at the conversational level. This was not only frustrating to the students, but also to the treating SLP. I saw SLPs using various methods with limited results. Twelve years ago, I began searching for an approach that would move students to proficiency at the conversational level and strengthen their language and literacy goals at the same time. The children progressed more quickly, therapy time was decreased, and the production of the R was natural and automatic. How does this methodology work? The R Made Simple program takes the English alphabet and reorganizes it into three categories, up, down, and slide. The categories are based on the position of the tongue prior to the production of the R sound. The student identifies the sound heard, looks at the alphabet, and then decides is it an up, a down, or a slide. This is a motor planning program. Once the students begin to understand these categories, they practice analyzing the sounds with alphabet sounds and words, stories, and even poems. They will continue learning how to integrate this program into all situations. With repetition and continued understanding, the students begin to increase the automaticity of tongue placement with all R words, and errors continue to be corrected. The R Made Simple methodology can be applied to any word and to all dialects. Students of all learning styles have benefited from this program because it incorporates auditory, visual, and sensory modalities in all learning activities. Let's talk about the first two categories. The first category is up. When the sound that is heard before the R is in the up alphabet, the students learn to place their tongue in an up position before they make the sound that precedes the R sound. An example is the word bird and leopard. The sound for B is heard before the R even though there is an I before the R in the spelling of the word. The sound for B fits into the up alphabet. Therefore, the students would place their tongue in a specific up position during the production of the B sound. The second category is down. When the sound heard before the R fits into the down alphabet, the student learns to place their tongue in a down position before they make the sound that precedes the R sound. An example is the word corn and barn. The sound for O is heard in the word corn before the R sound. The O sound is in the down alphabet. Therefore, the student would place their tongue in a specific down position prior to the production of the sound for O. Then the students move their tongue from that down O position to the correct placement for R. Using mnemonics helps the students remember what sound are in each category. All the alphabet sounds for each category and the motor planning instructions are explained in full in the manual. SLPs have benefited from using the program because it is rapidly understood by educators, making it simple to teach and easy for the students to learn. The versatility of this program makes scheduling so efficient. SLPs can place students that have articulation, language, and literacy goals in the same group. Once the SLP understands the program and the method, the room for creative expansion per SLP desires is limitless. It can be applied to storybooks, poems, and used for games. The program supplies all the materials that you will need into a compact kit. This makes planning and traveling lightweight and efficient. The R Made Simple program has students own their learning. They set goals for themselves and then they work toward achieving those goals. The program has all the documents necessary to implement the program. Contained within the program are pre-test and post-test, percentage charts, a rubric, individual and group worksheets, tracking sheets, comment sheets. There's even literacy and language activities as well as word banks. There are many things I love about the program are made simple. 
probably one of the most is that I see my students being successful and their gains that they make are coming actually more easily and quickly than in other programs that I've tried. Also, the program is pretty flexible and I've been able to use it with students with diverse problems in the same therapy setting. A very important aspect of this program is that students begin thinking and verbalizing about their learning almost right from the beginning. And I believe that later on, this contributes to their ability to more easily transfer uh, correct production of the art in a structured therapy setting to a more conversational level. Also, the design of the program empowers students to be successful. They find success in some way at every, um, at every therapy setting, and then they love coming, and they become more enthusiastic about coming, and they enjoy the activities. I can't tell you how much I've enjoyed learning about Nancy's program. Personally, I feel a more successful therapist. I feel more comfortable working with the R, and I know certainly the children have benefited. Nancy and I worked in a school district with 18 other SLPs. We saw students staying on our caseload for multiple years because they were unable to master production of R. Nancy talked about having success with a program she was developing, and we all wanted to know her secret. Last year, Nancy gave me opportunity to pilot a program with a 14-year-old boy who'd been in therapy for several years. He was reluctant at first, but as he saw himself being more successful, um, he became more motivated to stick with the program. I found the program easy to implement after Nancy explained the concepts of grouping sounds and analyzing words based on motor planning needed to produce the words correctly. Nancy's program is successful because it incorporates so much of what students need. Strengthening muscles used to elevate the tongue, supporting students in planning motor movements to transition from any sound to the R sound, repetition to develop automaticity, motivation, and a fun and interesting carryover activities. I encourage you to try this program. It works, you'll be happy with the results, and your students will be happy as well as they will see the improvement that they make in their speech. Remember, the R Made Simple program is as easy as one, two, three. First, identify the sound that comes before the R and place it into the up, down, or slide category. Second, plan the motor planning between the two sounds and the movement that is necessary between those sounds. And third, execute the production and correction takes place. It is as easy as one, two, three, and it works. Thank you and good luck with the program.